Hello everyone, my name is Graham Zimmerman. I'm the Rital product manager at Airline Hydraulics. Today I'm really excited to go over the new AX wall mount enclosure from Rital, which is their next generation wall mount. As I go through my presentation today, if you have any questions, please put it in the chat. We, we will be monitoring that. If you have further questions, don't hesitate to reach out to me. So let's get started with the presentation. Before we get into the presentation, I did want to introduce myself. I am the Rital product manager at Airline Hydraulics, who's a key distributor of Rital in the Northeast and Mid-Atlantic regions. I do have a lengthy automation history, both in field sales and product management, so excited to support you all in your applications throughout this region. So now let's take a look at the actual AX enclosure and what makes it so special. So taking a look back at the history of Rital, in 1961, Rital was the first company in the world to series produce enclosures. And it all started with the compact AE enclosure, which is now the predecessor of the current AX series that they recently launched. While the AE has been a great enclosure for decades, Rital has listened to all of the desired features from customers, as well as looked ahead at industry 4.0 capabilities that they need to incorporate in wall mount enclosures and came up with the AX. So taking a look back at all of their different lines of enclosures, it's been a bit tricky to find the exact enclosure that's right for your application because of so many options in different lines. Rital combines sizes and features of these previous enclosures to make it easier for customers to find the right enclosure that they need with all of the correct accessories. By reducing this complexity when looking for an enclosure, one enclosure can accommodate a wide variety of industries and applications now with the AX, as well as the KX series. So looking at these different lines, really the AE and the CM were combined to make the AX enclosure, and the KL, EB, and BG series were all combined to make the KX enclosure. Today I'm just going to focus on the AX enclosure, both in carbon steel and plastic, um, but there is an KX enclosure as well that simplifies small enclosure applications. So in regards to the AX enclosure, currently there is both a carbon steel version, which is a color of rail 7035 similar to the, their standard wall mounts, as well as a plastic version that they recently launched, which is similar to this same coloring, uh, but is a fiberglass reinforced polyester. So there will be a stainless steel variant launching next year in 2022, which will complete the AX line. But for now, I'm going to focus on the carbon steel for most of the presentation and then touch on the plastic at the end. When we're looking at the benefits of the AX enclosure, I really like to break it down into four different segments into how this enclosure makes your life easier. It's more simple, meaning it simplifies engineering, workflow, and production. It's just as safe as all the past enclosures because it ensures safety and gives you all the conformity across different UL ratings and CE ratings that you would need globally. It does cut down on your assembly time and make things faster, and it overall reduces your cost of ownership, which can be overlooked commonly in industrial applications. And then it adds flexibility into your applications. It is the most flexible wall mount enclosure on the market and gives you all the accessories for any application where you would need to mount pretty much anything. Let's take a look at how the AX simplifies your engineering workflow and production. The AX enclosure incorporates digitalization into its design by having QR codes installed not only on the mounting panel, the door, but the full enclosure itself. And this allows for quick incorporation of these components into production workflow, as well as seamless tracking from the receiving of the wall mount enclosure components to the completion of your enclosure. It also simplifies the complete enclosure modification process with less possibility for errors. The mounting panel in the AX enclosure also has had several advancements made to it to allow for simple modifications and installation. First, the mounting panel itself has markings on it so you can easily measure and place your products how you would like it. Each corner of the mounting panel also has cutouts which allows for easy installation from the top and you can simply secure the panel by pushing back and putting your ring nuts onto the mounting panel. The mounting panel is also depth adjustable via the screws that come with the enclosure, and the mounting panel has a pre-cut hole for easy grounding connections. When we look at the AX enclosure from an engineering perspective, 
The AX parts have been preloaded into ePlan as well as Rital's online configurator called RIX, so you can easily plan, engineer, and virtually prototype your control panel all in one. The RIX system in particular allows you to find the right enclosure, verify 3D dimensions for cutouts and accessories, and you can generate a full bill of materials and CAD file so you can really design your control panel before you even order it. This also guarantees the compatibilities of the panel with the accessories you chose to make sure everything will fit. From a safety perspective, not only does the AX enclosure have safety features built into it mechanically, but it also meets a bunch of the global conformities that you would need in any application. So if we take a look at those conformities, the AX has UL, CUL, and CE, which truly makes this a global enclosure for any application. These ratings are also maintained when you use any of the accessories that work with the AX enclosure, which is important when you're trying to add different accessories onto the outside of your enclosure especially. When looking at the external design of the AX enclosure, one thing you will notice is a flatter new edge fold design, which means it has better surface contact with the foam in place gasket as well as it allows for liquids to easily run through the channel and off of the enclosure. So if you're looking at outdoor applications especially, this could really be useful in those applications if you use it with a rain canopy on top of the enclosure. Another aspect of safety is grounding. Although this enclosure is ready for grounding out of the box, the mounting panel, door, and enclosure can easily be connected for enhanced grounding that some applications call for. As I mentioned before, the mounting panel has that pre-cut hole for grounding connection, the door has a spot for a grounding screw, and the gland plate screws will automatically ground to the enclosure as you screw the gland plate to the enclosure. When it comes to producing your systems or machines, the AX is a lot faster, meaning it can cut down on your assembly times, as well as your cost of ownership, which means that time associated with really adding all the accessories and putting this full system together. The first aspect of speeding up your production is the packaging and how this enclosure arrives to you. So all of the AX components for the enclosure are delivered together but unassembled. So you can actually store this enclosure outside even because it is shrink wrapped completely um, for weather protection while you wait to get it into production. Because it's fully unassembled, you can start handing out components of this enclosure two different people in the organization to start working on the door, the mounting panel, the enclosure separately, which speeds up production. There's no dismantling required when you get the enclosure. You don't have to take the door off. And it, it saves significant labor time while making it easier to switch the door orientation. The second aspect of the AX enclosure that speeds up production is the door assembly itself. So the door comes unassembled on the AX enclosure, but you can mount it for right-hand hinging or left-hand hinging, depending on your application, or if you're going to interfere with components inside of the cabinet. The mounting of the door itself is extremely easy because all you have to do is line up the enclosure door and hit the hinge pins on the side of the enclosure to lock it in place. You can easily swap around the locks without any tools necessary. And because of the perforated door strip on the door itself, you can add a ton of different accessories depending on what your application calls for. The last aspect that speeds up production when using the AX enclosure is the easy installation in the field. The larger AX enclosures will actually come with eye bolt holes on top of the enclosure for lifting, as well as pre-drilled holes for plinth base mounting. As far as wall mounting, the new AX can be wall mounted externally and fast. Thanks to the series standard eyelet in the rear panel, the wall mounting bracket can quickly be screwed into place using a self-tapping screw now. This eliminates the need to put a nut on the bolt internally to the enclosure, which has been tough in past installations where the mounting panel was already mounted inside the enclosure. Now you can mount everything from the outside and it tightens as you screw so you don't need an internal nut. Lastly, if you want to pull mount the AX enclosure, you can also do that with external accessories. When looking at flexibility, the AX enclosure is the most versatile wall mount enclosure on the market today. Starting with the internal accessories, 
This adds a ton of flexibility into your application. Every internal part of the AX enclosure is designed to be used. This includes depth rails that allow for components to be mounted on the side, bottom, and top of the enclosure. Uh, these new depth rails also sit on an embossment inside of the enclosure, which adds security when mounting these depth rails inside the enclosure. You can also layer using those depth rails inside the enclosure if you want to create different layers of components within the enclosure itself. And all of the accessories, including the lighting, door switches, door stops, etc., can easily be mounted to the depth rails and the perforated door strips inside of the enclosure. When looking at the exterior of the AX enclosure, it does have a cable gland plate on the bottom of the enclosure so you can quickly add cables into the enclosure. The new cable gland plates for the AX are actually 30% larger than the AE series, which allows for more installation of cables that are larger as well as more quantities of cables. There are additional gland plate options that are pre-perforated and modular, so this allows for even more capabilities when adding cables to your enclosure. When we look at other accessories, there's a lot more door lock options for the AX enclosure. There's even comfort handles similar to the TS8, which is their larger enclosure series. You can add a rain canopy for the top of the AX enclosure for additional liquid protection, really great for those outdoor applications. You can bay several AX enclosures together now via the baying kits that can be provided with the AX enclosure. There's also window kits and operating panels for HMIs, and there are eye bolts for lifting and plinths for base mounting, as I mentioned before. With all of these exterior and interior accessories with the AX enclosure, as well as the carbon, stainless, and plastic options, the AX can really be used in any sector of any industry, any location, climate, or environment that you would need for your application. So taking a look at all of these benefits that I went over today, the AX is really the future of wall mounts. It's simple, adding QR codes for digitalization and easy workflow. Mounting panels easier to install, ground, and work with. Uh, the integration of ePlan and RIX allows for easy configuration and virtual prototyping of this enclosure. This enclosure is still safe and meets conformity across all different uh, UL, CUL, and CE ratings. The new flat edge does give you better surface contact and allow liquids to run off. And the ground is it's extremely easy with all the, the connection points inside the cabinet. It is faster for production with the new packaging that allows for fast modification right out of the box. The door assembly is versatile and quick, and it can quickly be externally mounted with the field installation options that are built into the AX design. Lastly, when looking at flexibility, there's not a wall mount that gives you more flexibility than the AX. You can use every inch of this cabinet to mount components and accessories inside and outside the cabinet, and you can really build to what you need in your applications. Before we do get to your questions about the AX carbon steel, I did want to mention the plastic series that launched recently, which is really the most dynamic plastic series on the market. Currently, there's 14 different variants. It comes with a window as well as non-window versions. Uh, this AX plastic is suited for outdoor applications. So you actually get a NEMA 4X rating on this fiberglass reinforced polyester cabinet, which is really great for UV resistance and anything outdoors that you would be working on. There is a double seal on both the top and the bottom of the enclosure to prevent against you know, dust and rainwater. It does have a symmetrical layout, so you can actually rotate this enclosure 180 degrees and still use it for left and right hand hinging. Um, the wall mount brackets are easily assembled from the outside, similar to the carbon steel version that we just discussed. There are numerous embossments in the plastic itself, so you can mount those individual accessories inside the cabinet. And the mounting panel is very similar to the carbon steel that I mentioned, so you can easily fasten it to the pre-assembled bolts from the front. There's simple grounding built into it, and there's pitch patterns which, you, which allow for easy measurement and positioning. So just want to go over the AX series very quickly. Um, again, keep it in mind, especially for those outdoor applications. 
With that, I'd like to close the presentation with a time for questions. So you can feel free to chat those questions to me and I can answer it live here. Or if it's a more in-depth question, I'd be happy to take it offline and help you with your application that way.